The Irish Uncapped 15 for 2022, folks. You know, it's for the All Blacks and Africans and the Wallabies. Now it's time for the Irish. I'll admit it's a bit of a struggle for me. I probably haven't watched as much URC as I have Super Rugby. I'm certainly more familiar with the South African teams just historically than the Irish ones. But we'll give it a crack. Um, yeah, it's a weird one with the Irish squad and a bunch of guys have got like one or two caps. It's kind of frustrating when you're trying to go for a purely uncapped team. But like I said, we'll give it a go. And uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on who is a big old no from you and uh, who else you might have included. Because as I said, um, I probably haven't watched as much URC as a lot of you fellas and uh, ladies. And um, yeah, I just, uh, when in doubt, kind of back up with stats to uh to help me make my decisions but anyway we'll go through them and you guys can let me know your thoughts uh one guy who i am well not well but um is there in the end of his name yes relatively familiar with is josh Witcherly from munster uh partly because he's got a brother who plays and it's a relatively unique surname for me anyway maybe it's a common surname in his part of the woods but josh Witcherly, uh he looks like a guy who was gonna get capped by ireland at some point, I would imagine. Loose head prop, still pretty young. He's like 22 years old. Um, not a massive unit, but he's pretty mobile. 100 odd kilos, which is about, you know, standard. Just over 100 kilos, I think, for a prop. Um, you know, six foot tall, so pretty solid human being. Um, gets around the park pretty well. Like I mentioned, he's not he's not a massive man. He's, he's, he's playing loose head, so he is a wee bit, um, you know, a wee bit lighter than, uh, than some of the other props around the, the traps, but um, good ball carrier, good tackle rate, maybe gives away a few too many penalties at the moment, but at 22 years old, he's got miles of room to um, to improve, basically. Uh, he's only going to get probably bigger, stronger, um, and more experienced. So 22 years old for a prop is, uh, is a real baby. So um, yeah, Josh Witcherly uh, has got miles to improve. So we'll stick him in um, at loose head prop. Uh, hooker, I kind of fell back on my stats uh, and also a bit of age. And it doesn't help that, um, again, a lot of your starting hookers in, in Ireland are already capped. So I went with Dermot Barron, uh, also from Munster. Still pretty young, 23 years old. Maybe a little bit light compared to some of the other hookers around there. Most of them are... You know, between 100 and 510 kilos, whereas he's just under 100 kilos, which, as I said, for a hooker is on the light side, but his carrying is solid. Um, and believe it or not, despite playing a lot of game time in the URC this year, he's got a tackling percentage of 99%, which is incredible. So 23 years old, another guy with a heap of room to improve. Um, but that's honestly a weird one with the hooker situation. I think all of like the main hookers at Leinster are capped. Um, Ulster have got at least one hooker who's capped. So a lot of your hookers have been capped in recent times, or even not that recent times, like Cronin. He's going back a wee while for Leinster. But yeah, Dermot Barron, another relatively young front rower, also from Munster. We'll give him a crack. And tight head, I've kind of cheated a wee bit. I've gone with a more familiar name. Uh, assuming you can get him a contract with an Irish team when he's off contract from the Crusaders is Oli Jaeger. So this is a cheat, but... I picked him in my uncapped All Blacks team as well. Uh, someone needs to get him because he's a big 120 kilo tight head prop who's playing for the Crusaders, which, um, you know, despite not finishing top of the log, are still probably the best team uh, in Super Rugby. So if you can get a regular starting gig with them, uh, you're a pretty good player. Um, I think he's a product of Black Rock College, so... Uh, yeah, he's he's going to be picked up one way or the other. I think he's born in London, so he'd be English qualified as well. So whether he plays for New Zealand, Ireland, or um, the English, maybe. Uh, he's a big unit of a man, and uh, he's been doing pretty well for himself. So you could certainly do worse than Oli Jaeger. If you guys are thinking of a currently domestically based tight head, do let us know. And let us know if you reckon they would outshine the Crusaders, man. Uh, Locks. I've gone into uh, Leinster's Ross Maloney. I think he's been called up before. Uh, but as far as I'm aware, he has not been officially kept as yet. 28 years old, so one of the more senior guys that I've kind of picked. Because with the uncapped teams, you tend to pick him a bit younger. Um, 198 centimeters, so it's like 6'6 six six in the old terms. 
bit of a big unit, and he's been in cracking form uh, in recent times. He's been a real standout for Leinster. He's had a really, really good year. Um, and the URC especially, he's like tearing it up in, in some of the stats areas that you would kind of think of for a lock. He's got better than average ball carrying for... Uh, for the locks, he's one of the top tacklers. He tackles at like 92%. Not quite Barron's 99%, but that's still better than most of the guys on my list. Wins a few turnovers as well, solid in line out. So, kind of what else do you want, man? He's a big, a big rangy man. And uh, check him in the second row. I think you could do worse. And um, one guy who I'm, I'm not that familiar with. I'm sure I've seen him play. But uh, a conic man. In, uh, in Niall Murray, he's he's a, I must have seen him play, but when I first saw his name, it didn't ring a bell, Niall Murray, 22 years old, 6 foot 7, so that's 2 meters, he's a proper big unit, 111 kilos, he's somehow managed to score 3 tries, so I I'm, I'm definitely have seen him play, but like I said, the, the name recognition just wasn't there, plus I mean Murray doesn't quite stick out as much as Witchley, just in my mind. Um, but yeah, one of the top line-out stealers in the URC gets through a bunch of tackles. Even his carrying is actually not bad for a guy who's like six foot seven. But uh, yeah, you guys will have to give me some insights into him. On paper, anyway, uh, his numbers make really pretty reading. And I like having a unit, like a two meter plus unit in the uh, second row as well. There's nothing that beats just that kind of pure height. So um, yeah, good a good uh, matchup with Ross Malone, I reckon, is still pretty young. Uh, back row, I've gone with another uh, Connick man in uh, Kian Prendergast. He's been having a pretty tidy season for the Connick boys this year. Another 22-year-old, so pretty young, and he's pretty big for a uh, for a back row as well. Six foot, five hundred and twelve kilos, solid ball carrier. I wouldn't put him up there with some of your kind of key guys like, you know, like a, um, I don't know, like a Kalen Doris. He doesn't quite have numbers like that or a Gavin Coombs, but he's a, he's a pretty solid ball carrier. Um, not, as I said, not, not the elite level, but pretty good. Um, he's another one of the top tacklers in the URC. He's another good line out option. Like I mentioned, he's, he's got that bit of height. It's nice having at least one back rower who's a genuine third option at line out time. So yeah, he seems to be, uh, a pretty a decent option at number six, I reckon, on the blind side. And then on the open side, uh, I'm going to go with the younger of the two Rays from Ulster in Marcus Ray, 24 years old. Now, he's one guy, when I looked at his numbers, because I, I get the, the Rays confused, admittedly. It doesn't help that both their names start with an M. But uh, Marcus and Maddie, I know they're real big defensive guys. And then I went to have a look at the stats just to, to double check. And those stats kind of check out. Like his ball carrying stats are pretty average. Like uh, Prendergast's averaging, I know, well over two meters a carry. Whereas Ray, Marcus, is, uh, you know, not, not, not anywhere near that. And like, as I said, like a guy like Kalen Doris is, or Gavin Coobs is even the next level higher. Maybe a Jack O'Donoghue as well. But um, yeah, in his defensive numbers, he's a proper proper turnover merchant i like having a number seven who's a genuine threat over the ball and he is definitely one of the best in the urc great work rate great tackles uh penalties considered maybe a wee bit high but when you're a pilferer that kind of goes with the territory but yeah everything about his defensive game seems uh really really nice so i think uh having a guy to get through that kind of work is not a bad option and marcus ray and then uh lastly a, uh, another Munsterman in uh, Alex Kandelan, another pretty young guy um, in his early 20s and another guy with a huge work rate. Kind of like Prendergast, I would say his carrying wouldn't be at the same level as a Coombs or a, or a Doris, but he's still pretty good. He's, he's very similar to, um, to Prendergast and his kind of ability to get over the advantage line, kind of solid carries. Um, also very useful over the ball. Um, loads of carries, good work rate, a lot of uh, a lot of passes, a lot of ball and hand stuff. So, yeah, just a genuine kind of good all rounder. I like the idea of um, chucking him at the back as well. So, yeah, I mean it's 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 really hard with Ireland because you got so many guys as I said who've been capped. Like Jack O'Donoghue's not on the squad. Last I checked, and he's he's been in, in crazy form. I mean Nick Timoney doesn't have many caps to his name. 
and he's been in crazy form. Like the existing guys at the, you know, at the Iron level are already really, really good. Like pretty much half the Leinster, more than half the Leinster back row are Irish caps. So um, it's a tough place to get in, but you could certainly do worse than these guys in my mind. So that's your forward back. Uh, backs, uh, this guy, Nathan Doak, has stood out for quite a while. Um, it helps that he goal kicks. Goal kickers always stick in your memory a little bit more, but he's, he's certainly more than just a goal kicker. He's only 20 years old. Really good distributor of the ball. He kicks goals uh, pretty accurately. Something about Ulster, they love goal kicker nines, and Nathan Doak is another one of those. And he loves a wee snipe. Like, he's one of the kind of leading guys for clean breaks as well, which you don't get unless you back yourself to, um, you know, to, to take the ball to the line every now and again. Even his tackling percentage is honestly pretty good. So, uh, Nathan Doak, I know there's a lot of nines in, um, in Ireland, but at only 20 years old, he's another one that seems, I don't want to say destined to get an Irish cap, but he's certainly on the right track if he can kind of continue his development because at only 20, he's still got, a fair bit that he can add to his game as well. Uh, 10, I went with uh, Munsterman in, uh, in Ben Healy. He has to have been kind of there or thereabouts as another potential option at some point. I know the pecking order still seems to be, um, you know, Sexton, Carberry, and then um, Cardi at the moment. I mean, even when Cardi's in good form, he still seems to be the third pick. But Ben Healy, he's only 22 years old. I've really... Like the first thing that stuck out to me was his big old boot. Like it helps having a big old boot like uh, like Ben Healy's got. Like it gives you a bit of an extra weapon. He's a pretty big guy. He's like six foot tall. He's almost 100 kilos. And that's reflected in his ball carrying numbers as well. He's a 10 who can certainly uh, take the ball to the line as well. Um, the only thing is, I guess, he's uh, his defensive numbers aren't great. So he's um, exposed a little bit on defense. I think we saw that the other day. When uh, when Munster played in that quarterfinal, I think he got exposed at least once in that game. So um, yeah, but still 22 years old, man. Uh, a lot of potential about that man. I wouldn't put him on the board unless I thought he was a pretty good player. Uh, left wing, it's uh, another Ulsterman and Ethan McElroy. He's had a pretty good season. Ulster are a very fun team to watch, admittedly, and uh, the back three is certainly part of that. When it's like. Uh, you know, McElroy, Lowry, and Balakoon, and the, the latter two have already got capped. So McElroy, he'll be one of those guys that in that conversation, but uh, the pecking order in the outside backs of the island is also pretty long. 21 years old, so he's certainly one of the most dangerous guys in the URC. He's the second Irishman, I think, for like clean breaks and run meters and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, he's right up there. His offloading is good. I'm not sure he's got the absolute top end speed, but he's got the acceleration, which is maybe the better of the two to have because it gets you into the gaps. He may be run down if he's going length of the field, but, um, you know, he'll create that opportunity. He's not slow, but I think, uh, didn't we see him get run down? Was it in the monster game? Wasn't it? He got run down by Haley. I think it was so, but yeah, man, he's still really, really dangerous. And, um, as I said, 21 years old, pretty young. He's another one who will um, certainly be, um, you know, still got a bit of development to go. Uh, number 12, I have gone with a Leinster guy in Kieran Frawley. I've only seen a wee bit of him in the last couple of years, but he seems, it's hard to stand out with Leinster, but he seems to be um, just very comfortable, eh? He seems to have a pretty mature head on his shoulders. He's only 24, which I guess compared to some of the guys in this list, is, um, is a wee bit older, but he's like a really good playmaker. I think he mostly plays 12, but uh, as far as I'm aware, he's got a bit of background at 10, so he's kind of got that that playmaking skill set in him. He scores tries, he gets clean breaks, he accumulates the run meters, his defense is solid, especially if he's a 10, kind of come 12. But um, yeah, I think he's another guy. I mean, if you're in the Leinster side, you're already probably one step closer to an Irish cap than a lot of the other guys based on um, how Andy Farrell's been selecting the team at the moment. So Kira Frawley has to be kind of there or thereabouts as well. But the midfield in Ireland is absolutely chock-a-block. Now, 13, I think, is the hardest one to pick. Well, I was initially thinking Tom Daly. But then I think he mostly plays 12. I don't think he's played much 13. I think we've seen him play a bit of 13 in the past. But I don't think he's played. I think he's been pretty much exclusively at 12. 
this year and I'd rather not try and pick guys in their wrong positions if I can avoid it. So I ended up with going another Tom and I've gone with Tom Farrell, but he would be, I think he was the last name I put on this list. Not because he's bad, like he's a solid enough player. He's 29 years old, so he's certainly uh, getting on. As I said, could be certainly a lot younger than me, but he's um, he's uh, older than a lot of the guys I've got on the list. Um, you know, he's big enough without being huge. I think he's just around 100 kilos, like six foot. So, you know, pretty standard build for, for midfielders these days. Um, his attacking numbers are fine without being fantastic. His, he's um, certainly pretty confident ball in hand uh, his defensive numbers are a bit weak than you would kind of like from a third team which is a pretty crucial position especially defensively but um yeah it's really really hard in the midfield when you've got the likes of you know even the fringe guys have got caps right i mean mccloskey's been capped hume's been capped you've got ring rose and um Aki and henshaw like you know the list just goes on chris barrel like yeah, who hasn't been capped is more of a question. So if there's another guy who's outstanding, who's more of a specialist 13, do let me know. But um, yeah, I've chucked in uh, Tom Farrell there for the minute. Uh, two guys to go. I've gone with um, Jimmy O'Brien on the right wing. He's been a bit of a rocket. I think this season he's legit dangerous. And as I said, like a lot of the attention goes on some of the bigger names uh, at Leinster, like you're thinking more like a James Lowe when you're thinking the outside backs, Hugo Keenan. But Jimmy O'Brien, man, 25 years old, he's agile, he scored four tries, he's had 10 clean breaks, so he's one of the, the top guys up there. Remember, Leinster rotates their squad um, quite a lot. His defensive numbers are pretty good for a winger. So, um, yeah, he's another one. I mean, a lot of the Leinster guys have already been capped. A lot of the outside backs, again, in Ireland, uh, have been capped, you know, Balakoon's been capped, Lowry, Daly, like most of the Leinster guys, these guys have all got capped, but Jimmy O'Brien's still capless thus far, so uh, pretty happy to put him there, and uh, 15, maybe I'm being influenced by recent events, but Stuart Moore has been looking pretty tidy at 15, I know it's, um, it's not usually his favourite position, at least, I think he's mostly been playing 12, but he's looked pretty useful at 15. I'm not sure what his kicking game is like, I'll admit, not having seen enough of him um, with that aspect. But um, he's only 22 years old. He's another guy who's relatively tall, around about six foot. Um, he's got good carrying. His defense is solid enough. Like he's scored some some pretty sweet tries, at least as I sit here now, in, in recent times, which sit in my memory well. But um, yeah, certainly another option. And if you can become a utility, you can certainly uh, put your hand up for the bench. That is for sure. So there you go, folks. Uncapped Irish 15 for 2022. I admit to cheating a little bit by selecting Oli Jaeger. I know he would have to head back to Ireland if he were to legit be in selection. Some guys I'm pretty confident, like if I was to pick guys who I genuinely think will probably get capped at some point. It wouldn't surprise me to see Doak get capped. Probably Frawley, uh, Witcherly. Um, some of the other guys, it's maybe a bit harder to say. But uh, yeah, maybe if uh, if Niall Murray's as good as his numbers look, then uh, maybe he's another one who can put his hand up in contention because he's certainly a big human. But anyway, you guys do let me know your thoughts. Um, who else would you have? As I said, which of these guys maybe don't live up to the numbers that are on paper. Um, but yeah, been a bit of fun. I do like doing these uncapped videos. It can be a bit tricky when there's a bunch of guys around there who've already had a taste. But maybe haven't had a game for a few years. But anyway, you guys let me know your thoughts. And um, yes, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.